I'm in Vancouver, Washington, and I'm going to be visiting that building, the library, I hope. Along with being a quite fine library, the Vancouver Washington Central Library also has this observation deck, which is very nice. Might be a bit easier on a warmer and brighter day. And from here, we can see downtown Vancouver, a couple of office buildings, and then there you can see the Green Bridge. There, you can see the two towers of it. That is the interstate bridge that carries I-5 between Portland and Vancouver, between Oregon and Washington, and is a subject of some controversy. And in the background, you can see Portland and the West Hills. And over here, you can see the I-5 freeway. It's kind of loud. Um, that's because we're above ground so that the noise isn't shielded by sound walls. Um, so this is the core of downtown Vancouver. Uh, not a small city, but because it's close to downtown Portland, that is kind of the place where people are going to go. Um, but there are some things to see, and we will see them. Still at the library, across that overpass over the freeway, um, you can barely see the start of it, but that is Officer's Row, which is a historical site. And if you could see through those trees, in that direction is Fort Vancouver, a historical site, um, and a couple of other historical sites and parks over in that direction. But we'll be going the other direction. The library also has this open lobby with mezzanines, and it kind of scares me. So it's a typical downtown, pretty small. That circular building in the background, distinctive. You have a bank, you have a sports grill, you have a sculpture, you have Main Street, which I'm gonna cross, I'm gonna turn off the recording to cross. It's a kind of foggy Friday afternoon in April, so the party has not really started here. Not a lot going on, not the liveliest place. At times it can be a lot more lively though. This is Esther Short Park. This is kind of the center of downtown. I think it's over a dozen years, might be close to 20 years, but to me it's still new. I grew up here. Um, pretty typical park. We have kind of a reverse amphitheater stage. We have some chairs, we have a promenade. Oh, it's just a nice little city park. Here we have the Hilton, this very nice clock tower, and this plaza. And because there's a Hilton here, there's conventions here. I've been to Comoricon here. Um, and at times, this area is just vibrant and full of life. Uh, right now, as I mentioned, foggy Friday in April, pretty much empty. And on the other side behind those trees, that's actually, I believe, Vancouver City Hall, which is kind of unobtrusive. I had to look that up on a map. And on the other side from the park, we have some type of bakery, a Starbucks, a Thai restaurant, a Subway, maybe some other ones. So just a couple chain restaurants, a couple lo local restaurants. Not exactly on the face of it like a brilliant example of new urbanism and cultural vibrancy and authentic street culture. Um, hey, but I'll take what I can get. I've eaten at that Subway before. Um, yeah, you know, so there are other things. I'm only showing you a bit. Uh, so kind of a more tourism, or not even tourism, but retail and arts entertainment related downtown. And you can see over there, there's an office building and there are residential and office buildings being built here. But I think one of the issues is, is that in Vancouver, a lot of that office space is either going to be like out in office parks out in Exerbia or in towers in downtown. So my impression is that downtown Vancouver kind of is um, more like a residential area and a arts and entertainment area for dining, that type of thing. Not like a thriving business oriented downtown, but I could be wrong about that. So this is downtown Vancouver. Uh, there's a lot more to the story than that as there always is. And hopefully I'll be able to cover more of Vancouver in the future. But for now, I have to go on my way.